Hi everyone, welcome to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna discuss about VMware Update Manager with the latest vSphere version 6.7. In a vSphere environment, patching and version management can be centralized using VMware Update Manager. So this video will help you to understand what is VMware Update Manager and how it works, what are the processes involved in VMware Update Manager. And finally, we will go through a demonstration on how to configure a VMware Update Manager and how you can upgrade EXSI host using VMware Update Manager. So what is an Update Manager? An Update Manager is just a plugin in VMware vCenter which help you to centralize and automate patching and version management in VMware vSphere environment. With VMware Update Manager, you can upgrade and patch EXSI host also, you can install third-party softwares like uh, PowerPath. You can upgrade a uh, virtual machine, hardware functional level, and VMware tools. More than a centralized uh, and a patch management option, this really help you to see how far you are from the latest versions. That really helpful uh, to know that what are the new security bugs available and also what are the new patches available for uh, VMware EXSI environment. In a high available environment, when you want to upgrade a EXSI host, VMware Update Manager can do an automated vMotion of uh, virtual machines from the current EXSI host to the available EXSI host. So VMware Update Manager really brings uh, automation and visibility to your data center. Update Manager module consists of a server component and a client component. In a vCenter appliance, it is delivered as a service. So you don't have anything to configure or install for vCenter appliance. But in a Windows vCenter, you need to install Update Manager as an application to the same vCenter server or on a separate uh, Windows server. But you cannot connect a Update Manager installed in a Windows server to the vCenter appliance. Update Manager client is just a plugin which is available in vSphere web client or vSphere uh, client, the new HTML version. In a secured environment, it is not practical to connect a VMware vCenter. Uh, to download uh, upgrades and patches directly. So in this case, you can use uh, Update Manager download service to download the upgrades and patches into a separate server and vCenter can collect this locally. So this is applicable in a secured environment to use uh, VMware Update Manager. Before we start the demo of uh, VMware Update Manager, I would like to go through the processes that comes in uh, VMware Update Manager. The first part is to configure download source. In this demo, we're going to use uh, internet as a download source. Uh, the default links are already configured in VMware Update Manager by default. So you have nothing to configure for EXSI patches. But if you have any third party tools uh, or extensions to be downloaded and uh, patched, then you can use uh, links for such things. And UMDS uh, is the other option if you need uh, to download patches and upgrades in a secure environment. That is not a scope of this video. We will be doing a second video for UMDS. So once you configured your internet download link, a metadata related to upgrades and patches will be downloaded to vCenter. Then you have to create a baseline. A baseline is a new terminology that comes in VMware Update Manager. Uh, if, for example, if you want to upgrade a ESSI host and the ISO image is your baseline upgrade baseline. And if you want to patch a EXSI host, then this patch is your patch baseline. So there are three type of baseline, upgrade baseline, patch baseline and extension baseline. So once you create a baseline as per your requirement, the next step is to create a baseline group. So you assemble all these three baseline together and you create a baseline group. Once the baseline group is ready, then you can attach this baseline group to a EXSI host. Then VMware Update Manager will check how it complies. Then once everything is fine, then you can stage these patches and upgrades to EXSI host. Staging will help you to reduce the downtime required because when you go for staging, it will copy all the patches and upgrades uh, setup to EXSI host locally. Then you can apply the patches. Staging will help you to reduce the downtime that required uh, uh, during the upgrade or patching of EXSI host. So when you click uh, for staging, when you go for staging, it copy all the patches and upgrade setup to EXSI host locally. So this will help you the time that required uh, uh, to upgrade your EXSI host. So that is all about the process that comes in a VMware Update Manager. 
now let us see how to do this log into your vmware vcenter appliance then go to menu from here you can access update manager and also you can access it from the tab available in the left side to start or stop the services that you can do from vcenter server appliances for that go to the services of vcenter server appliances you will see vmware update manager service it has started already so this you can restart or stop in case of a troubleshooting now go to update manager settings you can see network connectivity and the ports used for update manager are 8084 9084 and here you can change the IP address or host name for the connectivity uh, in case of a change you need to restart the service it works with the FQDN or IP address also from the update manager go to settings and you can see patch setup here the links are already available to download uh, Visual EXSI and its related patches if you have any third party uh, software to download then that you can uh, enter the URL here and also if you want uh, to change the download source to UMDS a separate local repository then you have to give the URL here this is not a scope of this video we will do this as a separate video in this video we're gonna see how to configure download patches directly from internet and in a secured environment you can also use a proxy setup you can set up proxy so that uh, vcenter will be more secure and you can download uh, upgrades and patches using a proxy and this is a place where you can configure a proxy settings for that so once you've configured uh, the patch download setup and everything the next step is to create a, a baseline so i explained the baseline is uh, just if you're gonna upgrade then exsi image is your baseline if you have any patch then that patch is your baseline there are three type of baselines upgrade patch or extension so when you create a baseline you have to select uh, is it an upgrade or patch or extension so here you can see the patch vendor and the product version severity and category so based upon your uh, requirement uh, you can select uh, each field then click next then from here you can select uh, the patches that fall into your selection so for the demonstration i'm just gonna select something randomly then click next then click next and click finish now a patch baseline is ready before we're gonna create uh, another baseline i would like to import a exsi image so we can create a upgrade baseline with this exsi image select a exsi image then click open now you can see it is uploading to the vcenter so the uploading has completed and uh, it added to the repository now the exsi image is available in the inventory so we can create a new baseline for this exsi image so you can see the content is uh, default selected as upgrade because we're gonna create a, a baseline with an exsi image so it is a upgrade baseline and the exsi image uh, is automatically selected so now we have a patch baseline and an upgrade baseline so the next step is to create a baseline group a baseline group is assembled with upgrade baseline patch baseline and extension baseline so just give a name to your uh, baseline group and select a upgrade baseline 
so we added a upgrade baseline to the baseline group and it contain an exsi image next we're gonna select which patch baseline you need to, to add to baseline group and we don't have any extension baseline if you have extension baseline you can add it to the baseline group from here so now the baseline group is ready first we're gonna see a quick upgrade method with the upgrade baseline which we just created before you can see we have two exsi host one is 6.5 and one is 6.0 we can attach the baselines that we created so i'm going to attach the baseline for upgrade now the baseline upgrade has attached to the data center so that is applicable to all the exsi host that comes in the data center i'm going to upgrade the first exsi host from 6.5 to 6.7 so i just selected the baseline demo upgrade which we attached this is how uh, we can attach from the EXSI host also. You can see the EXSI version details. We can just click remediate, accept the license agreements, then click OK. The system entered into maintenance mode and the upgrade is progressing. Now the host has came back, it exited the maintenance mode and you can see the new EXSI version is 6.7. So we have seen a simple and a quick uh, demo on how to upgrade with a baseline. Next we're gonna see uh, upgrade with baseline group in a detailed uh, method. So now we are gonna try to upgrade this EXSI host with uh, the patches. The current version of EXSI host is uh, 6.00. So go to host updates and now you can attach a baseline here. Click attach. I'm going to attach a baseline group demo here. Attach it. When you select it, you can see what are the contents inside this baseline group. We have two baseline. One is upgrade baseline and another one is patches. And it includes any exercise images also. And following are the patches comes in this baseline. So the next step is to check the compliance. And for that, go to update manager and you can check compliance here okay it seems fine the next step is to stage it before that you can see detach this means you can detach uh, the baseline group uh, from this host so when i select click here and detach this baseline group will be detached from this uh, host the staging i already explained so when you click staging it will copy all the content uh, to the exsi host locally so let us do that now now the staging is progressing you can see the progress here now the staging has completed now we can go for upgrade by clicking remediate before that let us go to the update manager then settings you can see here remediation settings so the first one is uh, VM power state. Don't change uh, VM power state. You can edit this and uh, you can power off the virtual machine or suspend virtual machine or don't change VM power state. Then you can see uh, retry delays uh, for entering the system into maintenance mode. Number of retries. Allow installation of additional software. You can utilize these options uh, on what action have to be taken when the system enter into EXSI. Uh, maintenance mode and also you can uh, go for a snapshot of your uh, virtual machine so you can uh, ask to take a snapshot and uh, I can keep the snapshot for like 48 hours or something so if there is something goes wrong you can so if something goes wrong you can revert back to uh, the stable version so it is not uh, recommended to keep don't uh, delete snapshot because uh, you will uh, come up with a lot of confusions at the end so it's better to keep a snapshot for 48 hours so it will be automatically deleted so now let's go back and uh, apply the patches
now all the patches and upgrades has completed you can see the new version is vmware 6.7 so that is all about vmware upgrade manager thanks for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel